Williams, you are furious that your husband, Lee, ignores your miracle baby, Wyatt, and denies he is the father. You admit you made mistakes in the past, but you plan to prove paternity today in hopes of saving your marriage. Is that correct? Yes, Yana. Mr. Jackson, you state you know your wife cheated on you around the time of conception, and you are convinced you did not father 23-month-old Wyatt. You say when today's DNA results come back negative, the marriage is over. Yes, Your Honor. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Williams, what are you here to prove today in court? Technically, I'm here to prove to my husband, whom I've been married to almost three years, that our son is his, which is something I shouldn't have to do, but it's to please him and his family. And I'm so sick of them, that's the reason why we're here, because he's following behind his family and not his wife. I'm his wife. I'm there for him 24-7, not them. So for him to sit up there and choose them over me... And this denial is... is it is making you emotional it's... and getting you completely unhinged. I can see. I mean, it's really to the point where I, I, I'm, I'm holding myself together because I don't need to be in nobody's jail. <laughs> no, you don't. How does this affect Wyatt? Wyatt calls Lee by his name. Wyatt doesn't call him dad. He doesn't hold him. He doesn't change no diapers. He don't buy diapers. My mom helped me buy diapers for Wyatt. Wait, like... the baby calls Mr. Jackson by his first name? Yes, he calls him Lee. Why does he call you Lee? Yes, Your Honor, I don't know why, but that's what you've been calling me, so that's why I think that's not my child. No, it's the way you treat him. You treat my older kids like they're yours versus Wyatt. I treat them awesome, like he's mine. He treats them better than he treats Wyatt, yes, the new baby. Yes, ma'am. Me and, me and Mr. Jackson been in a relationship for almost eight years, and... Look at that. What you want to say? And no, that's not other child, but you want to say they're not yours. Like, come on. We... This hurts. I'm sorry. And it hurts you because... Because before that was Wyatt, we had two other children that we lost, two other daughters that we lost before Wyatt came along. Oh, and he'd been almost two years old and you mistreated him. How dare you? I don't have no connection with Wyatt, Yana. It no. don't matter. Y'all I'm y'all so sorry each other. for your loss. Mine. So, Mr. Jackson, you're saying that despite both of these really difficult tragedies... Yes, we had ...when it to... comes to the previous two children you attempted to have together... Yes, Your Honor. ...you don't believe you have any connection? <laughs> your, your wife says this is a miracle baby, but it is your testimony that you don't believe your wife's child is your biological son. Yes, Your Honor because we had two miscarriages before this, and me and her, what that egg mean? and sperm do not meet. So that's why I think I have doubts this is not my child. You sound real stupid. That's your so family wait. and your ear. That yeah, mama's Come boy. On. You right. Quit playing. You right. Quit playing. Right. That's who you, you should have right. married. You right. Quit nah. playing. So hold on, wait, wait. I want to understand this. I want to understand where your doubt comes from, because this know. is your wife. Yeah. <laughs> So but why do you have doubt? It's a lot of things she be denying, Your Honor. Okay, so take me to the first doubt. Well, I got text message to prove right here. Text messages? Yes, cheating. Jerome, let me see those, please. <laughs> Read them word for word. And these text messages you say explain your doubt. Yes, ma'am. All right. These are text messages you found between Ms. Williams, your wife, and another man. Yes, Your Honor. First message says, what's up with you, stranger? And your wife responds, laying low and making sure blank right. Read it carefully. The friend says, when can I see you again, though? I had fun kicking with you. And then you respond, I'm about to call you. Make sure you answer. And I know you had fun with me. With the oh. wink emoji and, and the deny that, Your Honor? fire sign. First of all, I'm a tomboy. I play football. He know I have male friends. We have mutual male friends together that we all chill and kick it with. So it's not like this person he does not know of or about or even hang with. So you know who this person is? I really don't. So, oh, boy. but I mean, look, and I'm on the outside looking in, but I'm just saying, what husband wants to hear their wife talking about, I know 
you had fun with me with a wink emoji hmm. and the fire. Hmm. Now you That's t- just dramatic. I don't see no football emoji. Oh, no That's that. just dramatic. <laughs> it didn't Thank say, you. I know you had fun with me when we played football. That's just dramatics. Like, that's just... Everybody's putting emojis, but other than that, I did not cheat on him, and he knows... Well, I will say this. How I often gauge things in relationships is if you saw that message between your husband and another woman, Mm -hmm. and at the end, she said, I'm about to call you, make sure you answer, and I know you had fun with me, wink, fire, (laughs) that wouldn't go over (laughs) too well, because it definitely wouldn't go over too well with me. (laughs) If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. The next one says, Ms. Williams, you say I was calling you and no answer. The friend says, call again. I didn't see anything. And then you say, you playing games and I need to talk to you. Then you write, I'm pregnant. Can you answer the phone, please? Now, when you have doubts, Your Honor? Technically, if you have no one to communicate with and you're pregnant again due to the fact that you just lost two babies yeah. and you're scared and that person is not there for you mentally and emotionally, yeah, yeah. that's the whole reason why we went on break because he left me down and out as I lost my baby. <sighs> he went and moved on to another person with a family and he left me deserted, destroyed out of my mind. I could not sleep for days. I mean, I just went to someone for comfort, just someone to ease my mind. That person has been there supporting me throughout the whole situation. So, I want to understand, you're saying these text messages occurred during a time after the two miscarriages. You all separated. Yes. Yes. Mr. Lee was still sleeping with me in the time that we were broke and up. So, Mr. Lee, yes, you were. We uh, made it official in November, the end of November. Me and Mr. Jackson got back together. Really, y'all? I think she was already pregnant. Oh, no, I was not. Don't even do that. Look at your son. Look at how he's looking like. Come on, don't even start that. This is our family, not theirs. After today, when when these results come back and they show you that you are the father of our son, you need to kick them to the curb or else your family will be gone. Try me. Oh, yeah, I will. I will. If I find out, I will. But, um, Your Honor, like I was saying, I'm sorry for the uh, interruption. It's a lot of He always have them in in the way, and they're always in his ear. And at the end of the day, he was back with me in November. We danced in the sheets, unprotectedly. (laughs) And after that, he told me his job had to go to Florida. Come to find out, I bumped into his sister weeks later. She was like, oh, girl, my brother's not in no Florida. He's back with that girl. I thought you knew. So I was heartbroken. You came and played with my mind. So since I found out he was doing that, I did me a one-time thing with the person that I was messing with while we were broken up. I did. And then after that... Hold on. Hold on, Miss Williams. Hold on. Hmm. Let's not go so fast through this testimony. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. So you're saying that there was another man you slept with when you all were off, but trying to come back together. Mm-hmm. Unprotected sex. No, it was not. How do you know, Mr. Sex. Jackson? Man, Were you there? Me, your Honor. No. That's the thing. No. She told your me, Honor, Your this Honor. man, he's full of it. So it is your testimony. You believe she cheated with that man without protection, and there are more men. Probably, Your Honor. No, it's not. Probably, Your Honor. All right, you, you brought I'm a witness cheated. with you. I'd like to hear yeah, from her, cousin. ma'am. Please stand. How you doing? Oh, Lord, let's go. State your name for the record. My name is Akela. Uh, Akela, what's your last name? Bradley. Bradley. And you are what relationship to Mr. Jackson? His cousin. Uh, you're his cousin. Mm-hmm. Yes, so, Miss Bradley, what do you know? I see her creeping with my own eyes. Thank you. Girl. He's at work. Girl. She's... Girl. When she was staying in the apartments, he's at work. She's out with other people. All they'll the talk for outside the car for a minute. Then they'll get in the car like 30, 40 minutes. When I'm trying to figure out what is you out there for. First if of all, I don't work. play with children. Stay in the child's place. You need to show up. Wait, 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 wait. Don't play with wait, children. Miss Bradley, it's the truth. You're mad. Family, family know better. Children, man. It's the truth. You better go sit down somewhere. Let's get some better. order. Yes, you Let's are. get some she order. Yes, you you are. Are. Let's get some order. I need, I need you to speak one at a time so I can get the story. Yes. You are testifying, Miss Bradley. You have seen Miss Williams with your own eyes. You say creeping, so you mean entertaining other men? Yes, like, what is you outside 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night in somebody's car for? If Lee at work, it's not his car. 
So what did you out there for? Thank you. So I have family members that's coming from out of state. Why I'm not from bring New them in Orleans? The house. Y'all are from Georgia. So therefore, if my family want to roll up on me, why not bring at them in the house? Holiday, they can, cause I pay those bills. Why not bring them inside the house? Thank why you. not I send them inside the car? Anything. And it don't even be boys half the time. Sure. They so just don't want to deal with y'all. So what and... do you see specifically? They'll be mm. out in the car talking, then they get in the car. What are y'all in the car for? 30, 40 minutes. If that's your family, bring them inside. Why is y'all inside the car? I don't necessarily have to do anything. My family don't that... like your family, period. What? She don't have we to. Don't y'all don't like have y'all, to. So oh, why y'all in my house? Y'all don't have to. We don't want to be y'all around y'all, to. period. Mm-hmm. It's fine. They ready to pay for a divorce, sweetheart. Mm-hmm. That's fine. What we'll... you mean? That's fine. Mm-hmm. We don't That's play fine. with you. I got six kids mm-hmm. and a dog. If so, Miss Bradley, hold on. Hold on, Miss Williams. Hold on. Hmm. So, Miss Bradley, you say you saw her in a car. Okay, that that is not enough. Have you ever heard, seen anything else? If you know I'm in a relationship, why try to put me on with somebody else? Because she called, she was like, I'm finna come to your house, I'm finna pick you up. I said, okay, cool. I come outside, you jump in the back seat, but you, and you tell me to jump in the front seat. You know I'm in a hard relationship. Because she asked me to hook her up with one of my friends. That's a lie. Did. Girl, stop. Yes, because why would you try to hook me up with somebody knowing I'm in a relationship? Okay, you, you do the same ridiculous. thing. You try to do it to me. Why would I do dirt with you? You're his cousin. You live in my house. You sound stupid. Uh, I sound stupid. All right. Stupid. Like, Thank you, Miss Bradley. You can have a seat. Thank you, because she you. need more than that. <laughs> and you do too. <laughs> hey, okay. Thank you. And you do too. Yes. So at the end of the day, the stakes are high here because this baby's almost two years old. Mm-hmm. This is a time when children are establishing very real bonds with their parents. Beginning to look to their father, say dada and mama, and begin to talk. And your wife has testified that you treat this baby differently. Yeah, a little bit. And you admit to that. Yes. So the stakes are high here. Yes. For this marriage and for Wyatt's sake. Yes. Yes. Why do you have tears in your eyes, Miss Williams? (laughs) Because it's like we just recently had a baby almost uh, 11 months ago. She's light as day. She has gold hair, just like he do. You, he don't deny her. But how you gonna deny your son? His ears stick out like him. He's got a big like, head. I have elf ears. Head. Come on, uh, he has head. a big head. His mama has a big head. Baby, take this wig off. Look. My head is big. Come on. Man. What you mean? He got the same kind of hair but you listen, have. Listen, listen. We're here discussing what's on the line as it relates to Wyatt. My son mm-hmm. is gonna be broken. My son is not going to have a father figure in his life. My son is not going to know who his father really is if he don't step up because Lee Jackson is his father. Mr. Lee does nothing but listen to his family all day. With this other man, have you ever told this other man about Wyatt, that you were pregnant? Hmm. Yes, that's... Yes, I confided in my friend. Yes, I did. So you did tell him you were pregnant? Yes, I did. This friend you did sleep with. There it was somebody else. Is this a different person no. from the one that you slept with during the on and off no, breakup? No, the same person. The same person. This is not no different person. I don't be like him and hop here, here, there, there. So, no, no, no. So what I'm saying is, is that when you had the off and on thing and you slept with this man one time when you confided in him and when you were... This thing continued on is the point. Yeah. Like no, you, it didn't, it did the not conversations continue. continued. She kept denying it. it. I kept asking continue. her, but she kept no, denying it. It did not... Deny for what? We're gonna find out today. It sure will, and then that's when you need to pay a couple of bills. Amen. Hello. All right. You know what? It's time for the results. Thank Girl, you. Thank you. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Williams versus Jackson. When it comes to 23-month-old Wyatt Jackson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jackson, you are the father. (laughs) Thank you. So that same energy y'all got, y'all can pack him up out my house. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pack it up, little girl. I apologize. Y'all that's pack that's, it up. that's your little boy. Be, I know. Pack it up. That's my baby. I'm gonna make it up. I'm gonna be the best father I can be. The best father I can be. It's time. He's almost two. He's been missing you. 
And he's been missing the opportunity for 23 months to say, Daddy. Yeah. To learn the word and to express that. There's more to it than just the phonetics. And you've admitted that you've treated this child. Yes, but now I know I'm going to treat him way better because it's my son. <laughs> Be a man. Step up to the plate. Ms. Porter Atkins, you say since giving birth to your son, Jeremiah, three months ago, the defendant has done nothing to contribute to his care. You are tired of the defendant's paternity denial and claim he better step up once these results prove he is Jeremiah's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor, that is absolutely correct. Mr. Fisher, you state you are certain you are not her child's father and say another man is claiming that Jeremiah is his biological son. Ms. Porter Atkins, explain to the court how the defendant's paternity denial makes you feel. Your Honor, to be completely honest, it enrages me because he knows for a fact that he is my son's daddy. I already t When I came back to Arizona, I specifically told him, who else was I sleeping with? I slept with you. I didn't see nobody else but you. So how are you gonna sit here and deny your son? And he even look a little like you, so you, like, look at him. No, for real, look at him. Take it easy. Look at that forehead. You can't tell me that's not him. You can't tell me. I am sorry. I realize you are passionate about the similarities you see, but we know good and well we can't go off of looks in this courtroom. Well, we just, just can't. But thanks. tell me about this relationship. So, I was at work. I was working at a fast food restaurant. I saw him. I was on front counter. He was at the drive-thru. He was looking my way. I'm not gonna lie, he wasn't... He wasn't ugly or anything. You know, he had a couple tattoos, and I was feeling it. Like, I like dudes with tattoos. I'm not gonna lie. So, I just so happened to get told to walk out his food. Oh, he was like, you know, you're really pretty. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank you. He was like, can I get your number? I was like, sure, why not? So, I grabbed her number. We was texting and stuff. And she wanted me to come up there on her break. So, I come up on, come here on the, her break. She's, she's all on me. She's kissing all on me. She's touching on me. Stop lying. First of all, and it was, Yana, now you were really not about to play. Why can't my I life? talk? Because wait, hold on, yo. Wait, wait, wait. Well, this all happened. At the fast food restaurant? No, yes, in the Tell parking me. lot. And, 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 and she even told me to bring a condom just to be safe. Wait a minute. She said, come up on my break and bring a condom? Yeah, she said, bring a condom just to be safe. It was a combo special they had. <laughs> you said it was a combo yep. special. It was a combo... <laughs> <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> Ms. Atkins, Porter Atkins... Is this true? I need to understand from No. His Did it happen that way? He, he, there his allegations are false. Let me tell you what actually happened, since you okay. want to be a clown. No, I did not get down and busy with you at no parking lot no, because I have more roles. Back. Basically, when I had texted him, it wasn't no couple hours later. It was the next day. And he was like, yeah, cool, let's come kick it. That's the first time we had our encounter. Now, so encounter means sex? Yes, and that so, was in his bed, not at a parking lot. This is 24 hours after he pulls up at the drive-thru. You all in the bed. Yes, ma'am, and that's because I don't see myself being in a relationship. But see, we both know what we're here for. I'm not looking to be with you. I'm not looking to be booed up. You know, I'm an adult. You're an adult. I know what I'm here for. I'm just trying to get it in and leave, just like guys do to us. <laughs> guys act like that's the only thing they can do. Only guys can do that. Now, females can do it, too. Females can do it. But we always lose that game. And as a young woman, you got to be smart enough to be able to say, that ain't my game. Because I play game, I win. Right? If it's a game that's set up for me to lose, I ain't playing. And this is one of them. So how soon after this happened and you started sleeping together did you find out you were pregnant? We had a second encounter after I had came back home to Arizona and it was on July 27th and he asked me to send him a picture of the dress I was wearing that night because I was getting ready. And I actually have that for you. You have a picture? Yeah. Well, you submitted a, to took, the court? Yes, ma'am, I sure did. And that night, we were sitting in the car and we were talking. I specifically told him that night, I am on my ovulation cycle. Today is a fertile day. If you, if you slip up, I'm gonna get pregnant. Right. I asked him if he had a condom. He said no, we still proceeded to have sex. When I found out I was pregnant, they told me I was eight and a half weeks along. And they said possible conception was July 27th. July 27th was you. She presented, this is a photo taken on July 27th, 2017 at 6.54 p.m. You said this is the photo that Mr. Fisher asked you to send him and you believe this is the night 
You conceived Jeremiah. Yes, ma'am. And that's the day. Yes, that is. I understand. Now, Mr. Fisher, I want to go to you and give you an opportunity to respond. We, it was an on and off thing. Like, she used to hit me up all the time just to, like, you know, chill and get intimate. She was very on top of the condom situation. I wanted to, I want, I didn't want to use a condom. It's some concerns because after we had that night, she was talking and she was telling me about how all her sexual and fear. She had a threesome. And I was very concerned. I had to grab a flashlight and flash it on her because I just wanted to see what I was getting myself into. Boy, you about crazy sitting up here <laughs> testifying I, about a is, flashlight. I wanted to and, see Hold on, uh-uh, uh-uh. Listen, don't be silly because at the end of the day, you didn't have sense enough to know I need to wear that condom regardless of what it looked like yes, or what the light shows. We don't need to be having sex without a condom. But you're saying you did have sex with her on a certain night unprotected. I don't know what night, but All right. I had That's sex how you know you lying. You can't so, get your story straight. So, listen, listen. Take it easy. We know it happened and we know it only right. takes once. What I want to understand from you is your other doubts. That I just want to know, because it's, it's multiple people that was having... And fears with her. I just want to know. So you feel like she was having sex with other men? Oh yes, that's how. How do you know that? Because she sat there and told me in the car. Oh, she told you herself. And who are these people? She have a boyfriend that I believe. I was single. No, you you were. I was single. Keywords you said was complicated. I said I was single, and I do what single people do. What you mean? I'm an adult. I'm I'm grown. So, Miss Porter Atkins, did you have a boyfriend? Were you having sex with somebody else? in addition to Mr. Fisher. No, ma'am, I was not. I was single, and he's the only man I had sex with. That whole... From when I left Memphis on July 10th through August 4th, he is the only person I had sex with. I was not in no relationship. I wasn't committed to nobody. I wasn't even talking to nobody. He's the only guy. That's not and for him to sit up here and lie... I'm not look, lying. I'm let me, just repeat let me what you Let me explain something to you, you deadbeat. Let, let me just explain this to you real fast. What you're not about to do is play and make me seem like I'm something that I'm not okay. because we both know that <laughs> if anybody... And she didn't even call me for delivery. You. She didn't even pick my name Because you don't deserve to be there. My whole 40 weeks I was, pregnant... I told her... My whole 40 weeks pregnant, where were you? Every three to four months, you want to call and ask how I'm doing. You didn't do nothing. You ain't buying no pampers, no wipes, no bottles. I did that. Everything from my son, I did! You ain't do nothing, you even check on him! Miss Porter Atkins, calm down. Jeremiah deserves so much better than this. He deserves to have a dad, somebody to be there for him, somebody to teach him how to throw a football, somebody to teach him how to change a tire, somebody to teach him how to be a man. I should not be the only person there for our son. He told me himself, I know he's mine, so why would you sit here and try to deny him? Why would you deny him the father that he deserves? Miss Porter Atkins, calm down. Please. Mr. Fisher has said that he believes you were with other people. Yes. And that he knows he may be a possibility, but he doesn't believe the child is his yes, ma'am. because of other sexual relationships but you were having. Those other sexual relationships, I want to know because I don't know these ghost people. The ghost people you told me about when we were in the car. What ghost people? Where's well, the... send me the receipts. It's tax season. You... Well, listen, this court is all about receipts. And we have identified a man who claims to be Jeremiah's biological father. Jerome, please escort Mr. Tate in. I'm going right up there. Oh, he looked like the baby, too. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mr. Tate, I hope he's his and not yours. Yes, ma'am. Please have a seat. Thank you for joining us today. This court is aware that you believe you are Jeremiah's biological father. Yes, ma'am. Tell the court what your relationship with Miss Porter Atkins is. Well, we met on Instagram, i say 2015. We was cool, best friends. We've been friends for like a long time. We was talking, everything, our relationship was going fine, well. Then we ended up, like I said, having um, sexual intercourse unprotectedly. I ended up getting her pregnant before. Us finding out she ended up having a miscarriage. And then what happened? Basically, I honestly had sexual intercourse with her before, a day before she left to go, like leave, I guess to go back to Arizona. And I think that's around like the ninth. So that's why I feel like it's a, um, like, you know, probably like a possibility he's mine because I know I had sexual intercourse with her before she left, unpartically. 
Understood. Where did, were you going? I was going back home to Arizona. To Arizona, and that's where Mr. Fisher was. So, the bottom line is he had sex with Mr. Tate, and then when you got back in town, you had sex with Mr. Fisher. Yeah, a couple weeks later. So, from July 10th, from me landing in Arizona to August 4th, I only had an encounter with him. But before I left, it was, like, a very emotional night. I'm not gonna lie. Like, our relationship just ended. I loved him to death. I'm not gonna... I loved... I loved Jadrian. And I still do. He wants to be a father to Jeremiah more than he does. And he's willing to step up and take that responsibility. And I appreciate him so much for that because Jeremiah deserves it. He really does. So, Mr. Tate, when I hear you testify, I can see that you do truly believe that this is your child. Yes, ma'am. Quite frankly, the time frame you all are talking about is very close in proximity. Yes, Yes, ma'am. In this courtroom, that equals doubt. Mr. Tate, you spoke about your mother. Yes, ma'am. And I know that you have confided in her and she knows something about this particular case as well. And I'd like to bring her in and hear from her. Jerome, will you please escort Miss Tate into the courtroom now? So you can go on... on the inside of here. Miss Tate, thank you for joining us today. Your son, uh, Mr. Tate, has testified to the fact that he truly believes he could be Jeremiah's biological father. What do you know about this? If you look at the timeline between the time Jeremiah was born and the last time they slept together, being in the nursing field, in the medical field, that's what I'm looking at. Your son submitted a calendar that outlines the timeline. She had sex with Mr. Tate, your son, on July 9th. Correct. Jeremiah's birthday... It's April 16th. In your mind, that puts the window of conception near the time when your son was intimate with Miss Porter Atkins. Yes, I have to say, just because you have sex today doesn't mean you get pregnant today. You can get pregnant tomorrow from having sex yesterday. Honestly, I can't say for sure, but we need to know, because we want to know. If Jeremiah is my son's then we want him. And you've been looking at these pictures Mm -hmm. every day. You look at them. That's my baby. (laughs) I mean, I see the resemblance, but then again, I just don't know. I just need to know if he belongs to me. All right. Thank you so much for your testimony. You may have a seat here. Thank you. So, Mr. Fisher, does any of this testimony affect your belief as to whether Jeremiah is your biological son or not? I don't still... I still don't think that's my kid. You don't think it's your child? No, to be honest. There's just something in you that doesn't believe it? Yes. I feel like he'll probably be happier over there. With Mr. Tate as his biological father? Yes. Why is that? Um, look at him. He's a... Look like a respectable young man. Like... (laughs) He does. He... He, he looked like he got his head on his shoulder, so I feel like that's his kid. Let's get the results. Jerome? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Porter Atkins versus Fisher, pertaining to whether Mr. Fisher or Mr. Tate is the father of the child Jeremiah Porter Atkins. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Fisher. You are the biological father. All right. Do we need diapers right now? You keep saying... This is not a joke. (laughs) It's my kid. Why can't I joke about it? I'm pretty happy now. Like, I know it's my kid. Why can't I... But you treat it like a joke. It's not a joke. The whole 40 weeks I was pregnant. I tried to tell you. It's not funny. Listen, listen, Miss Porter Atkins, the reason why we come here is to get the truth. The reason why we get the truth is so we know how to move forward. You came into this courtroom saying you believe Mr. Fisher was your child's biological father, and he is. 